Welcome back. Today we are going to look at neck pain, upper shoulder pain and what causes it and what you can do very quickly to, try to make it better. So I'm not going to go through the full neck assessment, shoulder assessment. I just want you to have a quick understanding of what's going on and what you can do to make it better. So we, we get a lot of pain in the neck and the shoulder and it's generally in this area there that we call uh, the top of the upper trap, which is a big muscle going from the back of the neck all the way down to the shoulder. And that muscle gets sore because it has to try to work all the time when we are maintaining prolonged sitting. And when you are doing that, as you can see very often, we just start to just get this head forward, the shoulders forward, we call that protraction. And this muscle, the upper trap, alongside all the muscles at the back, of the shoulder blade or in your lower back are always trying to fight against you having that position. And as they are doing that, they are getting tired because they have to do it for a long time, they don't like it, and after a while they get painful. So what can we do to try to make that better? Well, it's not very complicated. The first thing is you get yourself a good chair because with a straight chair you are not going to be tempted to get that position that we don't like. Having a straight chair is just enough. And one very good tip, extremely cheap, is to just get yourself a towel, you roll it, and you put some tape, just like I've done just now, and you're going to put that behind your back. As you see, you just put it at the back there, your backside as far as you can in your chair, and straight away you get this nice good position, the shoulders are back, your head goes back, and you can see straight away all the posterior back and neck structures are relaxing. The second thing you should try to do to try to improve your, your position is to uh, get yourself at a table. Um, working on a chair, working on a sofa is fine, but you don't want to do that for too long. What you want to very quickly get yourself back to a, a straighter position to, to once again avoid that protraction. And that's easy, you get yourself on a table and put your laptop on your table and that's just enough. And if you're able to do so, put your screen on a box in such a way that the top of the screen is at the top of your forehead and in a perfect world, get yourself some a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard and you can then just get your keyboard and your mouse next to you, your screen a bit further away and that's just going to be the perfect setup. The first thing you could try to do to uh, avoid that kind of neck pain here is to try to work on stress management and relaxation. You all know that as soon as we get stressed, as soon as we get anxious, we are starting to get pain up there. This is where tension and, and stress seems to just uh, be expressed in the body. And um, so, so stress management is extremely important. Um, just like me, just like a lot of people right now, we have to deal with children, we have to deal with work. It is extremely uh, stressful. We are not used to being at home all the time with them. And level of stress just really have increased quite a bit. So stress management is more than important just now. You've got many ways of doing, dealing with it. It's you need to just try to, to find that me time during the day when you can just do whatever you want. My way of doing it has been exercising. But if, if it's not what you, are, you like doing, there's no problem. Don't feel obliged to go exercise because that's what everybody else is doing around you. Just find that time during the day when you can just relax just yourself. And don't think either it's just going to happen just like that. You need to work towards it, you need to plan it, you need to discuss it with your partner, with your family, to try to have that time during the day when it is your time. And that is going to help a lot with stress management. And here are a few exercises you could try to do at home to relax a bit your upper trap and, and your neck. So the first one is to do the very well-known side flexion stretching. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to pull my head to the side and trying to stretch the, the upper fibers of the upper trap, which is going to uh, improve with uh, relaxation and it's going to help you 
uh, with the neck mobility. And you can do that on both sides. As you can see with my left hand here, what I'm trying to do as well is I can counteract the stretch a little bit by holding the chair to get a bigger stretch. Another one that works very well is thoracic extensions. Okay, so thoracic is the mid back here. And what you want to try to, um, to stretch that area of your body. Well, if you always a bit stuck in that position, uh, you can see straight away my shoulders are coming forward, my head is coming more forward, I am in this bad protracted position. So what you want to do, you try to counteract that. And the best way to do it is to work on your thoracic and your lower back. And one very easy exercise to do, as long as you've got the right chair, is to try to just work on your thoracic extension. And as you see here, I am just pulling my elbows back and I just come back forward. And that is going to give me a massive back stretch. And that's when repeated 10 times, a few times every day, it's just we are going to really going to feel that difference. You're really going to feel the shoulders going back the way. And it's extremely relaxing. Neck protraction are so important for neck. It is one of the first exercise I give to my patients coming with neck pain. It is extremely useful, it's very easy to do, and it, it's really going to, to relax the, the upper neck there. Yeah. So what we are trying, we are speaking about the neck protraction when it comes forward, and here we are going to deal with neck retraction, which is putting your chin in, in that position. And as you see straight away, this is going to open up all the posterior um, structures of the neck, and is going to, 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 to open up higher up as well, and C0, C1, C2. Um, this area is very well known for um, tenderness and pain, and when we are really, really too stuck, it's going to pinch a little nerve, and that nerve can come up, um, comes up at the back of the head, and, and can give you some kind of headaches, a bit of tingling, and so that, that those neck retraction done in sitting like that is going to uh, open up over that, is going to give you a lot of relief. One of the big mistake, common mistake we see with uh, that exercise is patients start doing stuff like that, or even worse, like that. You don't lift your shoulders, your chin does not go down, because you really need to work on getting the chin parallel to the floor and glide posteriorly. Ten times every couple of hours is going to give you so much relief. Another exercise you can do at home, in front of your chair, um, same idea, trying to uh, improve the mobility of your upper thoracic spine, of your lower back, is uh, called thoracic extension uh, over a bench, or here, over a chair. And what you want to do, you cross your arm this way, you just put them at the edge of your chair, put your forehead um, on your wrist, and you just drop down. And doing this exercise, it's going to improve your thoracic extension, your ability to get straight. It is going to um, get your shoulder retracted. It's going to stretch your pecs and your pecs because your pecs are helping you to, or, or I've got an effect on shoulder protraction. Trying to stretch those, those pecs is going to help. So, uh, great exercise, very easy to do. It is, in fact, one of the exercises I use myself the most because I, I do have a lot of um, upper thoracic tightness. We are physios, we are always in that kind of position. Um, so, I use the stretch a lot. It's one of my favorite ones. Lumbar extensions are great as well to help with the neck, funnily enough, because uh, if you're able to arch your back properly, it is going to um, help your shoulders to go back and it's going to help again that neck retraction we've been speaking about. So, um, very easy exercise at home. You all know it. It's a cobra position. When you get into that position and you just come up and you go back down. And you can add a bit of an effect, which is putting your head back at the end of the movement. You don't need to hold that position for
for any time, just a couple of seconds max. What you should be feeling is a stretch in your lower back. Stretch maybe in your abs as well. But that is a, a great position, very easy to do at home. All those exercises I just gave you there will help uh, release a bit of the tension from, um, from the neck. What you can do as well is obviously self-massaging. You can get your partner to massage. You can use a tennis ball to try to massage onto the upper trap. You can try to massage as well on the posterior uh, shoulder blade structures. Massage on your thoracic spine um, at the back, on your lower back, using a tennis ball. Um, and, and you just rub for five minutes um, in, in every space. And that, that is just going to help you.